looking to lower your business taxes. If so, Paraguay is a great option for this. However, you could be fined tens of thousands of dollars if you don't know what you're doing. So let's dive into how you can not be fined this insane amount of money. Hi, I'm Nicole and welcome back to the channel where I talk all things global citizen lifestyle and that includes residencies, taxes, and what a traveling lifestyle full-time truly looks like. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can save potentially tens of thousands of dollars if you have an LLC in the US and you've optimized your personal taxes. Now, many people here may have chosen to relocate to Paraguay or to a low or no tax country. Paraguay is great because it's a territorial tax country, meaning that if you don't make money physically in Paraguay or your money does not hit Paraguay, then you are not taxed in that country. And this can be a great option among other territorial or zero tax countries if you have a business in the online space. However, there are a few caveats to setting up the business side of your global citizen setup. And today I'm going to dive into what one of those caveats may look like so that you don't potentially get fined tens of thousands of dollars. And I am not exaggerating. The fine is $25,000. So let's dive into how you can not be fined this $25,000 as a disregarded entity LLC business owner. So you've gone to a territorial tax country, you've optimized your personal taxes to low or potentially 0%, and now you have set up an LLC for the business entity so that your business can also be zero tax. So you've set up your LLC in a state that is beneficial to you, whether that be Florida, Delaware, Wyoming, among a few others within the states. And that depends on what your business activity is and how much money you have flowing into your business on a yearly basis. However, if you hold an LLC, that is a disregarded entity, meaning that the income is going to be flowing through into wherever you hold personal residency, there are some forms that you need to file or you can be fined big time, which I don't want for you. And one of these forms that I'm going to talk about today is form 5472. Form 5472 is the information report if you own a foreign business in the US, which if you're watching this, you likely do. Now, depending on where your LLC is registered, you will have to file this specific form at different points in the year. So for example, some states will require you to file it on the first of the calendar year, where other states will require you to file this form on the first date of the month that you incorporated your LLC. So be sure to go on the IRS website and find exactly when you are going to need to file this form for the specific state that your LLC is registered in. Now, here's what you need to note. If you fail to file this form or you miss the deadline or you file this form incorrectly, you could be fined a minimum of 25,000 US dollars. And I don't know about you, but I would rather not have my business fined for that amount of money. So what do I recommend to avoid this? Well, the first thing I recommend is not filing this form on your own with such steep consequences. You want to make sure that you have a professional, an accountant who understands this global citizen space, and you don't want to just hire any accountant online who you find. I have an unfortunate story about this, where when I started this journey, I hired an accountant that was specific for the US, and he had absolutely no idea what I was talking about. I started talking about disregarded entities and business accounting that was also outside of the US. You truly need an accountant who understands the global citizen sphere of what we are trying to do to optimize our taxes. Most US accountants will not understand and they will give you advice that is based on a C Corp and S Corp, which does not apply to you if you are not an American. So please don't make the same mistake as me. Do not just hire any accountant that you hear is a good recommendation. You really want to go for the experts who understand this global citizen space. And 
if you, like me, do not want to take your chances on filing this form wrong, missing the deadline, or filing it incorrectly, then I am happy to help. Feel free to email me, nicole at nomadneeks.com. My email is also below so you can copy and paste it. I would be more than happy to put you in touch with my personal accountant who, trust me, understands this space. I have only found very few accountants that truly understand this global citizen space and what we're trying to do by optimizing our taxes as a foreign owned LLC owner and holding personal residency in another country. Most accountants in the US won't get this, but if you are worried about this, then I got you. Simply email me and I'm more than happy to make an introduction so that you can ensure you are not fined these huge fees at the end of the year. There may also be different reporting requirements depending on the amount of money flowing into your business, the structure that your business is set up, among other qualifications that may mean that you need to fill out other forms along with the 5472. So if you have optimized your personal residency and your business for low tax optimization, then feel free to reach out to me via email. And I'm more than happy to put you in touch with the correct contacts so that you can ensure your business is in good hands. If you like this video, hit subscribe as I create content around tax, residency, and global citizen business optimization. I have personally done this for myself while acquiring multiple residencies and passports, and I want the same for you if you are looking to live this global citizen lifestyle. All of my links are below as well as my email. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.